There is Dark Matter, Steph Curry. Welcome back guys to the No Money Spent Squad series on NBA 2K24, my team. Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day today. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy this episode, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get stuck into the recap. So I've done a lot in between the episodes. I pulled Galaxy Opal Steve Nash from packs right here. Amazing work, which allowed us to lock in for this Eclipse Dark Matter Ensemble pack right here, which guarantees us a Dark Matter. Now, I was hoping we would get any other Dark Matter besides Derek Rose. And as you guys can see, we got Derek Rose. Any other player would have played for us without a single doubt, but this card will not because he's only six foot three and it's just not worth it in my opinion. We also got Galaxy Opal Buddy Hill from Perfect. Salary Cup as well, so Salary Cup is done. We got Galaxy Opal Julius Randle who replaced James Worthy in our squad as well. And we've completed the rest of the bold agendas except for one challenge. And we got all these players right here, which is really, really nice. OG is really good. Jalen is not bad. He's a good defender. Boris, I don't know who that is, I'm not gonna lie. So that's the recap, let's get stuck into the episode. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete this bold agenda right here so that we can get this dark amount of Stephen Curry because he will definitely enter my squad, maybe on the reserves. We're gonna win one more game using 10 more Warriors players. So I'll be right back when that is done. A few minutes later. There we go, there's the final shot right there. Beautiful work. Let's get this Dark Matter Steph Curry. There is Dark Matter Steph Curry right there. He's gonna enter my squad right away. So D Wade, you're gonna get replaced with Steph Curry because he can be my sparker. I've got main defense with Sean Marion here and I've got a tall seven footer that can play that small forward position. That's a very, very good bench, res or should I say reserve, because they can do different things and that's just gonna help out the team even more. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head into the spotlight challenges right here. We're gonna do these bold challenges right here. It's a bold, unsellable pack to, if we complete these challenges, which makes no sense in my opinion, because we can get them via the agendas. And if we get them all via the agendas, they're gonna be unsellable anyway. So what, what's the point of this unsellable pack? You might as well make it sellable. That way we can get MT out of it, but obviously 2K doesn't wanna make, it doesn't wanna make it easy for us to get MT in terms of uh, pack odds, which is a little bit frustrating, I won't lie. So I'm gonna complete these two challenges and we'll open up those packs and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Five minutes later. All right, we should have this challenge completed. It's a pretty easy challenge. I will not lie. All you need to do is let Steph, stay on Steph Curry um, when he's on the three-point line and then when he drives in, just let him drive in and shoot the easy basket. That's all you have to do. That challenge is now completed. So there's the shoe boost pack right there and there's the bold unsellable pack. Let's open this sucker up right now. I do not want to play again. Why would I want to play again? There we go. Pack market. Go to unopened packs and yes, I like I said, always have said, I don't open my packs until the very, very last uh, few weeks just because I could get a lot of good players and a lot of exchanges um, or put the players in the exchange. But anyway, shake. No, we are sapphire. Okay, well, we can't do much about that, can we? Can't do much about that. We get CJ McCollum. Ugh. And in this bold base pack, I doubt we get anything. I mean, to be fair, we got a Galaxy April in our last base pack. What? And no, we got no shake. We get a Ruby this time. Bruh. We get Evan Mobley who can immediately go to the exchange for an Eclipse pack. So what I'm thinking of doing right now is that we're gonna actually head into some triple threat online. Actually, we've got some agendas to open up first. What did we get? We get one token. I assume it's because we opened up some packs. Yeah. Opening up some packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into Triple Threat Online. And I reckon we're going to use Steph Curry. Because I reckon Steph Curry is going to be very, very good. Ooh, now. Ooh. Let's replace Shea Gilgis Alexander with Steph Curry. Just because in Triple Threat Online, he's going to be an absolute beast. And he's going to be hard to handle with. So let's do some Triple Threat Online. Let's get it. One eternity later. All right, let's see if this guy... He's gonna play normal. Okay, I think he's actually gonna play sweaty. Good. Okay, finally. We're versing someone that doesn't have a. or isn't looking just to shoot threes. And that was a terrible shot. His feet weren't set, which just didn't help us in the end. There we go. Open three. Thank you very much. Bang! This is. Steph Curry is just gonna be an absolute travesty to deal with, honestly. Shoot that three. That's going in. Easy. It's five point board game. Okay. Go! I hope he's not trying to shoot threes because, I mean, he hasn't given me much belief that he was only aiming to shoot threes. There we go. Nice little behind the back move. And we got the easy triple right there. We got takeover. Come on. There we go. He followed for the fake. Shoot that. Mini that green. There's the win right there. Beautiful. And we're at level 33. Hey, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Or level 32, I should say. And we get a season 6 prize ball from the box. Not ideal there. I think we've already got a season 6. Yeah, we already do. Ugh, oh, that sucks. And we also get 10,000 MT because we've got 15 wins. So that's a that's pretty handy. Pretty handy stuff right there. OG Ananobi, Marcus Sol, and Steve Nash. Interesting. 
I reckon he's gonna probably want to shoot threes because he's got OG and Anobi, but we'll find out. Let's see what he does. Nope. There we go. Oh, nice steal. Go, Steph. Shoot that three. Okay. Oh, he wants to shoot threes. Easy. All right, let's let let's let him shoot threes. We'll sh let him shoot threes. Oh, maybe. I uh, don't know why he did that for. Maybe we're not. Okay. Shoot that. Thank you very much. You gotta guard me. You gotta guard me. Woo. <laughs> Chris Tapp's got knocked in the head and we got the, we got the ball because of it. <laughs> there we go. Nice little screen right there. Shoot that three. Green baby. 17 to 6. An absolute devastation on our part. There we go. Nice little screen. Shoot that mid range. Bang. Green. Easy work. Let's go on to our next triple threat online game. And we also get another season six prize ball from the vault. Dude. All right. We've got one more game of triple threat online. And then we'll wait for the next day because it'll be tomorrow's content is the vortex content, which... Not gonna lie, I'm not happy about the 100 overall still, but at least now, when you lock in the set, you get actually good Dark Matters that will replace probably any of these players in the squad. So, I'm looking forward to that, except for one player, I think. Uh, okay, it looks like we're versing Galaxy Opal, Brandon Ingram, Pink Diamond, Xavier, and also David Thompson. And they're both Galaxy Opals. Oh yeah, I forgot about them because of the dynamic duo. They added into the game, and I think he wants to play legit. Oh, shoot that three. We got so lucky then. Holy crap. We got so lucky that that ball helped us and we got the algo there. Well, that's going to be an easy three-pointer for us. Especially Perfect. if you go over the screen. You got to go under the screen for that case right there. Just because I will shoot that ball. There we go. Shoot that, Steph. Nice little fade screen. <laughs> Great ball movement. Great play right there, great play. There we go, get past. Go, 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 Chris Taps. Yes, easy dunk for us. There we go, three-point ball game lead, nice. This is definitely our toughest opponent. Yeah, he's playing actually really well, considering the fact that he's using two pink diamond dynamic duos, which is pretty good. There we go, get past them all. Just go for that dunk, why not? I mean, we've got the easy lead at the moment. We might as well get the guaranteed two points and guaranteed ourselves a win. Well, guaranteed, should I say, not guaranteed. Oh, that's an easy three-point. Oh my God, I missed it. Oh my. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Probably should have not gone in. I'll take it though. I'll definitely take it. Let's see what we get from the vault. And we get a bloody bracket busters pack. Mm -hmm. Are you serious, TK? You give me one of the worst packs ever that I just, for me personally, because I don't need them because I've already locked in the set. But anyway, I'm going to wait until it's the next day. Obviously, it'll be like a few seconds in between when it's the next day for you guys. But for me, it's the whole, it's a whole new day. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds when it's the next day. The next day. So we just completed the challenges right there. There's the Vortex base and the Vortex Unsellable pack right there. We also managed to get the Deluxe pack as well from the agenda. So let's quickly grab that up right now. Hopefully you guys are having a phenomenal day as well at the time you're watching this. We get the Vortex Deluxe pack right there. Let's open these three sucker packs up. Are we gonna continue this trend, right? Of getting Galaxy Opals or some kind of shake from a base pack, which is been really wild these previous few episodes, I will definitely not lie. And let us start with the two base packs, see if we can get anything from this base pack first. Come on, give me something decent. Even if it's not a shake, I don't mind. Bruh. No shake, it's gonna be an, oh no, no emerald, it's gonna be a Sapphire DeMar DeRozan. In the next pack, we are going to get, let's see, Ooh. no shake, of course, because it is a base pack, and I think it was a Sapphire, yep. Fred Van Vliet. Okay, now just the regular Vortex pack. Give me a shake. Give me a shake. Oh, we get an emerald. Lovely. Yusuf Nurkic. Oh, man. So now here is our Vortex Deluxe pack. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Let's finish this episode on a high. Come on. Give me something more than a pink diamond. Galaxy Opal would be ideal. And it's not a dark matter. That's a shame. And it's going to be Meh. pink diamond. That's okay. At least we get something. That's the main thing. I'm glad they added these deluxe packs in. We get Shooting Guard, Eastern Conference, Jaden Ivy. And I just recently watched HTB's video and he pulled Jaden Ivy quite a bit. And from what I hear, Jaden Ivy's not a bad card. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your day and whatever, whatever, whatever time you're watching this. And see you guys later. Peace out.